Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about everything I have in my dance bag as a 20-year-old professional ballet dancer. Before we get started, subscribe. Thank you. We'll be starting on the outside because I have some stuff clipped on. This is kind of a small computer bag, but it's my dance bag, so it works. On the side here, we have a bunch of different ballet flats. These are the flats I'm using right now. They're on the verge of death. They're, they're begging me to let them die. They're begging me to let them die. I've actually switched sides because I have busted holes through the sides of them. My toes hang out of these. It's not good, so I've, I've got to get new ones. But then I have a white pair, a black pair as well. Headphones, you got to get in the mood if you're backstage, you know what I'm saying? And that is it for the outside. Let's go to the front pocket, shall we? Off the bat, resistance band, really good for warmth, really good for stretching your calves, for warming those feet, the articulation of the toes. Second, necessities, wallet. I actually got this wallet in Nicaragua when I was dancing Flames this past summer. Secondly, deodorant. I'm not sponsored, but degree, hit me up. Necessary. I. You will never catch me without deodorant. I will. I refuse to be that partner who smells bad. That will not be me. I. I can't have it on my legacy, guys. What do you expect? Come on. Protein bar. I actually have two of these. I have two of several of these things in this bag because I like to play it safe. But protein is absolutely necessary to have. And I don't like being ravenous. Being hungry in a long rehearsal and like seeing you have two and a half hours left is never a fun feeling. So this can really take the edge off, and it's compact and it's easy to carry. Plus, 20 grams of protein. Perfume. Of course. Guys, before part of the class, before dancing any sort of partner dance, I drench myself in this. You can ask my partners. They know it firsthand. I love, I love this perfume. A anyway, yeah. I, I basically shower in this before dancing with a girl. Um, and I, I have no intention of stopping that. After that, we have a Kindle, not really related to dance. Uh, here we have one Cordoba. I have some change in my bag. Dominic, because why not? Pepper spray in case I'm getting home late from rehearsal, a pen, a bag of disinflammatories in case of injury, in case someone else needs one, who knows. And now we will move on to the second pocket. My block. I stretch with this block every single day. You will never see me without my blue block. I got this from my friend Keegan, bless his heart. My cat has torn into a little bit, but it works just as new. I prop my back knee under this because you need an oversplit if you want to look like you have a real split. It helps pop that manege. It helps get you a better solar shot. You want that nice squish sleep. You want that good jete. This is your best friend. I also use it to warm up my feet, to stretch your calves. You can do so many things with just a simple block. I love this thing. Sewing kit. I just dropped the needle. And it's missing the scissors right now because last time I went through customs, my scissors were confiscated. The big pair and the little pair. Broke my heart. Medical tape in case I break my toes, in case I need to secure a band-aid, in case someone else breaks their toes, in case my shoes are bothering me, in case of a blister. This is absolutely necessary to have. Very good to have in your bag, metal tape. Another protein bar. I don't want to be hungry in rehearsal. I don't enjoy that. Another stick of deodorant. I stand by my word, guys. You will never find me without deodorant. If the first one runs out, I got the second one on lock. Phone charger, of course. If I have no phone, I really have no way to contact anyone else. I don't have a way to, to edit videos. I don't have a way to record videos. Phone is very important to have on me. Now we're getting to the fun stuff. This is an elastic. It can be used mainly for, for, for me at least, making elastics around the waist to keep my tights up. I, I recently switched to overalls and then to like booty shorts after that because it's just easier. So I haven't used this in a while, but I have it if need be. This is a train card, but it's no longer valid. I spent $90 on this and then they changed the system the next week. Now we're getting into like the hygiene pocket. Tweezers, floss, you never know. Also in that pocket, toothbrush, travel, folding, and toothpaste and lotions. In the next pocket over, chapstick, portable battery. Let's see if this got charged on it. Let's see. It does not. And now let's move to the little bonus side pockets. Napkins, just in case. Nose bleed or something like that. Nail clippers are absolutely necessary. I should probably put them in a different pocket, but we'll find a new home for these. And of course, last but not least, I always keep a spare dance belt in my dance bag. Always. This might be the most important item in my dance bag. It may very well be. You just have to have an extra one of these just in case. You never know what happens. Maybe someone takes your dance belt. Maybe another guy does. Maybe you lose it. Maybe something happens to it. Like, who knows? Maybe you need another. Maybe you're not secure enough and like the, the one you have is not giving you the proper support. You might need another. I don't have to play that game. I play it safe, guys. You saw me with the two deodorants, two dance belts as well, okay? Without this, I cannot dance. 
straight up. As a man, dancing without a dance belt is dangerous. I cannot and will not dance without a dance belt. And if you're looking to get one of these, check the link in my bio and you can find a link to get the highest quality dance belts you can possibly find. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Subscribe for more ballet.